Am I looking dead yet? I'm Irish now. I'm an Irish vampire. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So as you can probably already tell, today is going to be another one of my Halloween makeup tutorials. And this one is also pretty easy to guess, and that is a vampire. Today we're going to be doing step-by-step -step how I created this look right here. I had so much fun creating this. I've had so much fun with this Halloween, these Halloween tutorials. Uh, this will be my last one of the year as obviously it is very close to Halloween, but next year I am so excited already and I think I'm gonna do more next year. I think I might like do one every week of the month. Cause it's so much fun. I had so much fun with this guys. I recently did a Marilyn Monroe like quick Fab and Five last minute Halloween tutorial and I also did the Harley Quinn makeup tutorial. I picked Harley Quinn and Vampire because they were the two highest rated on the polls that I did on my community page and also over on Instagram. But also, I like low-key probably was going to do these two anyways because, again, super obsessed. So I've been a super hardcore fan of Vampire Diaries. I know. It's super lame, but like I love it. Like I love it. I've seen it probably five times. And I have like a weird obsession. Like I've actually said to my husband, I'm like, if there were real vampires, we would hunt them down and force them to change me into a vampire. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. But I'm like obsessed with vampires. P.S. I don't have fake teeth. I tried to get them waited to last minute and they were out of them. So I apologize. That would have been the finishing touch, but we can just pretend. If you want to find out how I created this vampire Halloween look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start with brows. I am going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown, and I'm gonna do a very defined and filled in kind of brow as I just feel like when I think of vampire, it's like very intense. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna go with an intense brow compared to like the feathery, more natural look. I'm now gonna go in with some eyeshadow primer and because we're going through a more smoky, dramatic eye, I'm gonna go with the P. Louise base as it will lay down an extremely pigmented base. And especially since we're gonna be going more pale with the face, we'll also cover up any discoloration, any veins, yada, yada, yada on the lips. You can also use it to really like make the lines of your brows crisp, almost like you would maybe with a concealer. It can kind of double as that, which is really nice. Just kind of put it on messily, me messily. Is that even a word? Messily. And then I go over with my beauty blender to ensure everything's like more smooth. I'm gonna go over with some face powder. This is just my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation, just lightly to set down the eye. You can also use like a cream shadow, whatever works better for you. Okay, so we're going for that smoky, smoky eye. So we're gonna start with like black. First, what we're gonna do is actually start with an eye pencil. This is the Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayon in black. So what I'm gonna do is start by lining the lid and then actually like probably taking it up to about halfway up the lid because I want the base of the lid to be super dark and then we're gonna kind of blend into shadow. I'm gonna start by doing like a normal liner. I'm also gonna take this and run it along my upper waterline. I'm gonna take my Sigma Short Shader, which is an E20. It's very dense and short. And I'm gonna use this to start to work and smudge that out. Kind of soften that edge. 
Now I'm gonna go into my Stone Cold Fox eyeshadow palette and use the black. And I'm going to bring that up to about the crease. So we're gonna kind of press it on using the same brush, laying it over top to number one, intensify that already existing black liner. But then we're gonna bring it higher and so that will start the kind of smoke effect. So now that I have that pressed over top, I'm going to take a larger flat brush and start to bring it up a little bit higher to about the crease. And it looks scary, but don't worry, you'll see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna take like a short, dense, and tapered blending brush and take a little bit of this like dark brown. It is Drama Mama. It's like a very dark brown. And I'm going to use that to buff out these edges. So it's going to start to create this transition because it's not black, but it's also dark enough that it'll blend really well into it. So I'm just doing circular motions and I'm not really wanting to go up much higher. We've already brought it all the way up to the crease. We're just wanting to kind of buff out those edges with a bit of a lighter shade. You might lose a little bit of the pigmentation from the black, but we can reinforce. It's just about blending out first. So now I'm gonna go into some reds. I'm gonna be going off of the ColourPop All That eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna be taking this darker red here, Please Me, and I'm just going to use that and lay it over top of this already existing line like i don't want to bring it up again too much higher i just kind of want to add a little bit of red on these edges to create that kind of vampy effect i'm now going to take a clean brush and start to buff out these edges Okay, so I'm wanting to just soften this um, brow bone a little bit to make it a little bit less intense. So I am going to take a cream shade here from the All That palette, uncuffed, and use that to further soften that edge. Okay, so I'm now going to just reinforce this black a little bit. As you can see, it went a little bit faded and patchy. So I'm just gonna go over the areas, but I don't wanna bring it up too high or else we're gonna have to go over again and blend. So I'm just patting over the areas that I want it to be black, but not over the areas that are transitioning. We are quite vampy. When I said we're doing a vampire tutorial, I truly meant it. So now what we're going to do is I think I want to add just a tiny bit of like shimmer on my brow bone. Okay, let's do it. I'm just going to take So Fine, like just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's nice. But that's a little like something, something just to the brow bone. And then if you feel like it's not perfectly blended out, you can kind of soften those edges a little bit. Now I'm going to clean up my lower lash line. So now we're going to go ahead with face. I am going in with my Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Primer. So I chose this foundation because it's one of my most fair out of my collection. Um, I have a few that are like super pale on me and this is one of them. It's also super, super matte. So it's not going to look dewy and glowy. It's going to look very flat. We want to look kind of dead, you know? I mean, not that this foundation makes you look dead, but like without any like setting spray, without any like contour, I'm going to look really flat and like 
matte. The Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation in Fair Ivory. You can also get like white face paint, like costume makeup, you could do that too. Now in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so I am going to contour a little bit, but I am going to be using my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. It is the lightest shade you can get, and it is a little bit ashy. Like, it's not my favorite shade because it's it looks a little ashy on me, but it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna be like kind of, you know, that dead look, you know? To contour out the cheeks and just add a little bit of color, but not too, too much, because you still wanna look pale. See what I mean? It looks kind of like gray. So it's not my favorite for like a normal makeup look, but for this, perfect. I realized that this eye look turned out a lot more purple than red. It's okay, it's still a vampy look. You could do really any kind of smoky eye. And don't get me wrong, like I like the formula. It's blendable, like I just think I need a different shade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything down with my Fenty Beauty. I do have it in the shade 120. I want to add a little more of that like deathly look so I'm gonna go actually in with a little bit of this shade here it's called you rock it's like a gray I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that and apply it also to the hollows of my cheeks to just further make me look dead I'm actually gonna get a bit of a looser brush so it's not so intensely pigmented I just kind of want to like a gray shadow over top of it just like that. I'm also actually going to take a little bit of the gray and create a bit of like a dark shadow. Am I looking dead yet? We're going to take the macro pencil and line the lower lash line. I'm not gonna go in the waterline though and you'll see why in a second. I'm actually going to take a kind of reddish plummy lip liner. This is the retractable lip liner by NYX in the shade Plum and I'm gonna put it in the waterline. I don't have a eyeliner so I don't know how this is going to hold up but I just wanna create that like red kind of eye effect. If you have an actual eyeliner obviously it's gonna be better. Okay, so now we're going to take the black from the Stone Cold Fox. Kind of connect it, the upper lash line, go across, 
start to blow it out a little bit. And I'm going to take the red, blow it out. I'm going lower than I normally would too. This whole entire look is super dramatic and intense because it's Halloween. Okay, so now we are going to create the like veins coming down. I'm going to take angled liner brush and I am going to, I think I wanna make them red. I think I'm gonna go into this shade here. And I don't think that's gonna be precise enough. I'm gonna go in with like a really pointy angled liner brush. kind of like starting to blend it down from the black and then just like squiggling it. I'm gonna make some like shorter ones going out from all angles and like some more faded ones. And then I think what I wanna do is take like a fluffier brush and go over with kind of like a gray along this edge here so that not everything looks super crisp. I want it to kind of make sure it's blended. go off like this yeah that looks so you like stem off of it yeah that looks more natural now that we have the veins I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, mascara and lashes The same liner that I used actually in me in me eyes. I'm Irish now. I'm an Irish vampire in my eyes, and that is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Plum. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm now going to take my Milani Color Statement Lipstick in 73 Matte Love, and I'm going to use that and blend along that edge. I'm taking some black eyeshadow, and I'm just darkening the edges. Now, blood. I was super excited. I had to get some blood and just take this to a new level, you know? So this is from Party City and it is called the Fake Stage Blood. There's different types. There's basic blood, there's blood gel. I thought this stuff would be good, it's stage blood. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take like an angled liner brush I'm gonna put some of this blood on this like paper towel here. And we're gonna go to the corner.
I'm like building it up in the corner and I'm gonna leave like little like gloss like that like so it looks like it's actually dripping. I don't like how like fake line that looks like though, so I'm gonna build it up. Make it look like messy, like I just bit into somebody's neck. I feel like a padding motion looks better instead of like drawing it on. I'm gonna like put it on the lips too. Should we also do little bite holes because like a lot of people think you have to be bitten to turn into a vampire. Should we play into that theory? Let's do it. That should be quick. So first we're gonna do like a black dot. This was not planned, but we're adding it. Do one black dot. Then we're gonna do another black dot. We'll use the red. And actually, I'm going to use a bit of a fluffier brush. Kind of blend it out so it looks like it's like that. And then let's use the blood. Well, I think this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me get my hair down. I just curled it. Nothing really fancy. So this is the finished vampire makeup tutorial for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed, found this helpful. And if you do recreate, don't forget to tag me if you post it on social media. It's all linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween, everybody. If you are doing anything for Halloween, then stay safe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and have a absolutely spooktacular Halloween. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.